Hey friends, a year ago or so I posted a popular video about reducing your electromagnetic frequency energy in your house, apartment, etc. through shielding with aluminum foil as an experiment that was purely for experimental purposes. Well, recently I've gotten more hip to actually analyzing how to monitor that through an app here called ElectroSmart that is actually no longer in active development. However, it's still supported through Android 13 and I have Android 12 on this phone, so I highly recommend it. I have removed the SIM card on this phone per the developer suggestion um, as to not just pick up a uh, phone signal on the phone that I'm using the app on. So this is actually acting like an independent device no SIM card is in this phone, so it's picking up all the uh, Wi-Fi signals here you can see in my area. I mean, just crazy in my apartment building. You can see that's really the number one source of the radiation is through the Wi-Fi, including 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And ElectroSmart also shows you your... Uh, cellular antenna inter uh, radiation that's also coming into your environment. Now, there's an inverse relationship between dBm you see there. That's decibels as relates to the milliwatt. And that is the preferred uh, method of analyzing this exposure, the decibels relating to the milliwatt. And you can see right here we're at minus 37 decibels uh, per milliwatt, as that figure actually increases, then the, in other words, if that minus 37 were minus 20, we would be in the red zone or the dangerous or slightly unhealthy zone for electromagnetic radiation. Now, my Wi Fi router last night was right there where my index finger is pointing. And what I can tell you is that I've shaved a couple points off of this through, here, I'll show you over here. I, I moved the Wi-Fi router. My Wi-Fi router is right now behind this cabinet up here. And yes, I still receive Wi-Fi signal. I was just watching YouTube videos and I put a sheet of aluminum foil in front there, which I'll, okay. There's my Netgear dual band Wi-Fi router. And it's still working just fine. So you can imagine that how, you know, these solid wood cabinets are pretty thick. And you can imagine how easily that goes through flesh of the human body. Now, as I bring in the meter here that we were just looking at, watch the value go up as I get closer to that Wi-Fi router. So we were at minus 36 a second ago, and now it's minus 32. And the closer we get to that, you can see it's in the red zone right there. You know, if I'm at my refrigerator here, for example, and there's an original drawing, I'm really in an unhealthy level for that dual band Wi-Fi router. The Wi-Fi signal is still coming through there, even though it's closed off in a shelf, with a layer of aluminum foil. And as we back up here, as I'm getting about 15 feet away, and again, the recommended distance by most vendors is to be six to 10 feet away from your Wi Fi router. Do not sit in front of that thing all day. Now you see we've come down to minus 38. So if you're in an apartment, if you're in a condo, even your house, you want to be a good 15 feet away from your Wi-Fi router. Now, let me turn off my Wi-Fi router and let's see what I'm picking up just through the apartment building. So the point of this video proves that even if you turn off your own electromagnetic devices that are causing radiation in your living environment, if you're living in a city, an apartment building, an apartment complex, especially if you're on higher floors. And windows are the worst place for uh, radiation to come through. 
So many of these Wi-Fi uh, router signals are not even in my apartment building. Because my apartment building doesn't even have this many units. Especially with the 5G towers going up with cell networks. I know that's a huge thing for many of you that have commented on my previous video. Your symptoms relating to 5G cell networks, cell towers that are going up in your area. Again, that's different than the Wi-Fi. But you would find those under the cellular antenna parameter on the app. So do post your comments below about this subject and be sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you'd like to cover next about this very important topic. Thanks for tuning in and I look forward to hearing from you soon.